days are getting shorter and shorter and the nights are getting cooler and cooler and that brings us here to Winsboro, Texas for Autumn Trails, a weekend filled with country music, art exhibits and as you can see behind me, cowboy living. So let's go explore it. Located in Northeast Texas, Winsboro is a blossoming cultural art center that is growing by the day. To talk to us through the artistic culture in the small town, we spoke with Main Street Program Manager, Brenda Buck. You know, there's, there's quite a few things that go on, especially with the art center. That's one of the heart of who we are um, for our arts. So they uh, have something almost every single weekend um, throughout the year and art exhibits rotate in and out frequently. We have over 275 artists within the area that connect some way to our cultural arts district. So we have a very uniqueness about us and we really kind of like to think it's a very eclectic type of uh, community. Over the last 60 years, it's no surprise that Winsboro is heavily influenced by Western lifestyle. Who better to talk to us about cowboy living than Autumn Trails Association President, Tex. Well, Autumn Trails was started in 1958. A group of riders got together, met out at Cater Hill, and they just got all their horses and wagons and went on a trail ride. And it grew into this Autumn Trails. The time in the fall, weather's cooling down, leaves are turning, beautiful country roads to ride horses on. While residents prepped their horses for the Autumn Trails Parade, we went and got a good spot on Main Street. All right, y'all, we are about to witness the Trail Ride Welcome Parade, and it's gonna happen just right there in a few minutes. The Trail Ride Weekend kicks off with residents, visitors, and campers parading their horses, mules, and wagons through several blocks of downtown Winsboro. Look at that little horse. As well as the visual arts, the town of just over 3,500 has embraced the musical arts as well. Winsboro has attracted the attention of numerous Texas country music artists. I like the old uh, Texas thing here, you know, the, the historical part of it. It makes you feel like you're going back into the old west. This is my third time to play here and uh, it's also a very artistic community, a very creative bunch of people, but they keep the Texas traditions. There's no question that it's Texas when you walk up and down these streets. To close out our first night in Winsboro, we decided to take a seat and watch the intimate set by country music pioneer Michael Martin Murphy. right where you are more from the Winsboro Autumn Trail Rides when Yellow Texas returns. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show where Ariel is just kicking off her day in Winsboro for the annual gathering known as the Autumn Trail Rides. Good morning from Winsboro, Texas. We are here for one of the many weekends dedicated to the town's annual event, Autumn Trail Rides. So let's continue our journey and experience this time-honored event. Every year during one weekend in the month of October, trail riders from near and far gather to celebrate the city of Winsboro's heritage with none other than a morning trail ride. You'll find expert cowboys and cowgirls along with those iconic covered wagons. And this is just the first event of the day. There's so much more to see and explore. As you can probably tell, Winsboro embodies the cowboy lifestyle, so much so that we stopped in to experience the proclaimed art of cowboy poetry. Ooh, yeah, it's true. The day is just getting started. After an exceptional performance of cowboy poetry, it was time to stop in and visit the Winsboro Farmer's Market. 
Stacy. Thank you for having us out here. Can you tell us a little bit about the farmer's market here in Winsboro? Absolutely. It's, it's something that's very unique, I think, to Winsboro, is that you have this agricultural community um, that's thriving, but you are also have a very artistic uh, community that's thriving and you wouldn't think of those two worlds colliding. I, I love an, an old author um, who I, I say is like an agricultural poet. He, he said uh, something about putting the culture back in agriculture and I think that's what we're doing here is, is we're embracing young and new ideas, young and new farmers with fresh ideas, um, but we're tying it also into the arts community that's already here. Uh, we grow produce. We uh, right now are working on mushrooms. These are blue oyster mushrooms. I make um, goat milk soaps and also body butters, sugar scrub cubes. Um, pretty much all the natural bath and beauty products that you need. All right, y'all. Y'all know I cannot get enough shopping, so we're gonna move indoors to some of the indoor shops and see what they have to offer. You look cute. What? And so are a lot of these artists from here in Winsboro? A lot of them are. Carlos Owens right here is, is a local combat veteran. Wow. And he's a scuba diver. He takes uh, this awesome under undersea photography. And there's a lot of talented Texans there. There are. Well, Donnie, thank you so much for having us here and showing us around. And Sure. All right, y'all, who knew there was so much amazing talent right here in Winsboro, Texas? I'm actually standing by some of my favorite art pieces here in the gallery, but wait a second. Do y'all hear that? I think there's a party going on outside. Celebrate the colorful history of Winsboro, and for more information on the places we visited today, visit the link below, and don't forget to tell them Yellow Texas sent you.